Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a really, really easy way to both measure and scribe for a surface at the same time. All you need is a piece of paper or bristle board in this case, a straight edge. So in this case, this is just a piece of some sort of Ikea. It doesn't matter. It's gotta be straight and it's gotta be consistent. And if your wall is really wavy, having it a little bit shorter helps and a pencil. We're getting ready to put the countertop or the top piece onto this cabinet here. And because these walls aren't straight, true, or perpendicular, we're gonna have some scribing to do. I'm gonna show you a way to do it all at once and measure the length exactly at the same time. First thing you're gonna do, put your paper on the wall. And you're gonna slide it all the way into the first corner. So when I do that, you can see that this fireplace actually dips away from me there. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you have that piece lined up, is you're gonna make a small mark on the wall and on the paper at the same spot. So for me, that's number one. That's my first mark. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my straight edge and put it up into the corner along the same line that the fireplace takes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace this line here and then I'm gonna slide my straight edge along following the fireplace I'm gonna make another mark. And then finally that last little curve there. I'm gonna make that mark there. And for this, I'm also gonna mark from underneath where the edge of my existing piece is. So I'm just gonna run a little line along there like that. The next part is I'm gonna slide my paper down to this side. And you can see it's even more extreme over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my wall where I made my first mark there. And I'm going to make my second mark here. So this is mark number two. And now those two marks, when I line them up, they're going to give me the exact width. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to do the same thing over here where I trace my wall. And then I'm just going to come underneath again. And using this, I'm going to be able to cut my top piece perfectly scribed and exactly to the right width. Okay, so now we're coming over to our final piece here, and we're going to lay our template on top. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that back edge is lined up, and then you're just going to slide this over, leaving enough room for the width of your straight edge to make sure that's still on the piece. So for me, that's pretty good there. Let's start right there. So when I've got this piece lined up here, I'm going to come over to mark one. And I'm going to make a little mark on my board here. So when mark one is aligned and the back edge is aligned, I take my straight edge and I line it up. And then I trace the other side this time. Okay, and then I'm going to slide it down. Ruler. Tracing that side? No. And then one final one. Okay, so there's my first angle. Then to get the width right, remember here's mark two, I'm gonna slide this all the way down until mark two lines up with mark one. Get that back edge nice and aligned. And then I'm gonna repeat that same process on this side. Okay, so now I've got the exact width as well as that scribe marked out. I'm going to cut that, fit the piece into place, and then I'll deal with the width. 